Okay, folks, uh, ten days ago we made the split of the observation hive. Um, today I'm going to go in here and look for queen cells and make sure all the splits have plenty of queen cells. They ought to be merging in the next couple of days. So, uh, we're going and see what we can find. What I ended up doing was moving the, the hives to my parents' house for four days. They're about seven miles away. After that period, I retrieved the hives and uh, I brought them back here to the farm, which is only about an eighth of a mile from my place. So, uh, they've got all kinds of thistle and sweet clover and the nectar flow is on right now. So we'll go in here and see what kind of emergency cells they have raised. Okay, real quick here, I just wanted to open my Shamrock S mating box, which you know, I put the mini nuke ring from the observation hive in and look at that freshly drawn comb. Right there we go. See that? A queen has emerged. Let's see here, I'll turn it around and find the... Right there's the cell she came out of. The bees are still covering it. Pretty cool. Looks like I'm a little late for that one though. Okay folks, I found three queen cells down here at the bottom. And then I see another one right there. Now I can see one next to it. It's been chewed out. So that makes me think that there's already a queen hatched in here. And she hasn't got to these ones yet. Or that one. So I'm going to cut one of these out. Stick a cell protector on it. And stick it in... The one I do not see a queen or a queen cell. Okay, here you can see I've cut out a chunk of comb with the queen cell on it. I'm going to place it down in this cell protector. What that's going to do is make it so the bees can only chew out the bottom and not the sides, which would kill the queen. So, I'm going to now stick this in the nuke that I did not see a queen or any queen cells. Okay, so from the observation hive, I had one full deep frame in here, which has plenty of queen cells, so that should be fine. Over here, this is two mini nukes. This section here, I just cut out a queen cell from this one, stuck it in here. This is the one I just showed you the queen running around in. So it's good. So that should take care of those. Those down there are two swarms that I've caught this year. And they are both laying. So that's in good shape. 